Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 43-year-old South Carolina resident Joey Gallman, I think is how you pronounce her name. It's J-O-E-I. Um, I guess she goes by Josie. She traveled to D.C. with her husband, also with their friend, a man named Alan Culbertson. And after Donald Trump's speech was finished at the Ellipse, they headed over to the Capitol. They went on to the Capitol grounds. And seven minutes after the initial breach of the Senate wing doors, Gallman and her husband and Culbertson were all seen on surveillance video. They illegally entered the building. They walked to the Capitol crypt and they were at the back of the mob when others were physically pushing past the number, the outnumbered officers. Um, so Gallman and her group followed the mob to the next level of the building. They ended up going into Statuary Hall. And while they were in there, they were actually seen on surveillance video picking up and repositioning stanchions and velvet ropes that others in the mob had knocked down. From there, they made their way to the Capitol Rotunda. They took some more photos in that area before a group of officers came in. They created a police line and they physically forced everyone out. Um, So they were inside the Capitol for a total of 35 minutes before exiting. And the FBI interviewed Gallman following the Capitol attack. And she told agents that she regretted entering the building. She regretted chanting with the crowd. And Gallman said that at the time, they believed that the election was stolen and that they could be a part of something important by making their voices heard at the Capitol. But she said in hindsight, she wishes they had never gone to D.C. Um, Gallman still tried to downplay her actions, though, as with so many others, she claims that they're, they were entered the building because they had to, because, quote, they had to go with the crowd or get run over. That claim is belied by the video evidence, <laughs> um, so not factual, but Gallman was arrested on September 27th of 2022. And she was charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. In May of 2023, she pleaded guilty to the parading charge. So she was looking at up to six months in prison, five years of probation, and 5,000 in fines. The government, however, requested a sentence of only 14 days in prison and $500 in restitution. Um, The prosecutor said that Gallman has no criminal history, but they noted in her sentencing memo that she was a habitual user of drugs and alcohol prior to achieving sobriety in 2017. Um, U.S. District Judge Amy Berman Jackson presided over Gallman's case, and I couldn't locate any information about what was said at the sentencing hearing, but Judge Jackson sentenced Gallman to only 18 months of probation, 50 hours of community service, a $1,000 fine, and $500 in restitution. Um, As with her husband, I have mixed emotions about this sentence. Um, First of all, I'm surprised. This judge is typically a lot stronger than this. Um, And, you know, on on one hand, they were respectful of the Capitol. They picked up items that others had knocked over. However, they added to the mob, right? They added to the mob that left other officers without backup. But for the size of that crowd, 140 plus officers wouldn't have been injured that day, some of whom were permanently injured. Some were blinded. Some were left with, you know, physical impairments that they will never, ever overcome and get rid of. Um, So that's why I've always said two to three months in prison should be the minimum, even for these nonviolent defendants. So I hope that they're honestly remorseful, as they claim, and time will tell, right? Anyway, I will let you all know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please become a donor if possible, or leave a tip or super thanks, depending on what platform you're on. Truly appreciate it. Oh, and for those who are on TikTok, um, it's not a a subscribe button, it's a follow. So if you want to give me a follow over there on TikTok, I appreciate that as well. Love you all. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.